This video will show you on how to set an ATV12 drive to run locally. The first thing to note here is on the front of the drive you have mode, escape, stop, run, and the dial keys. The first thing that we need to do at this point is to press and hold mode key for about three to four seconds. And you will notice that the drive is going to flash local and not only that, your reference, monitoring, and configuration on your LED are going to be flashing one at a time. Whenever you see these LEDs flashing like this, that will indicate to you that the drive is currently in local control. And at this point, if you press run and scroll the dial clockwise or counterclockwise, the motor is going to be running. And of course, when you press stop, it will stop your motor and it will go back to ready. Now, when you're local, whenever you want to make any programming changes, you'll notice that when we press enter or escape, nothing will happen. So, um, the first thing that we have to do to put it back into programming mode to make any changes is to press and hold escape key for about two or three seconds. And now you'll notice that the LEDs on the display are going to be flashing at the same time. That means that you're able to program the drive. So right now, if you press run, nothing will happen. But if you were to, let's say, press enter and scroll clockwise, you can go to any menu you want and make any kind of changes you want. And whenever you're done making any programming changes, you can escape back to your main display, back to ready. And again, you have to put it back into local control to run the drive. So to do this again, you press escape for a couple of seconds, about two or three. And whenever you see the LEDs flashing like this, one at a time, that means you're ready to go. And if you press, if you press run and scroll the dot clockwise, your motor is going to be running. And again, whenever you want to stop your motor, press stop. And this is how you put this ATV12 drive to run locally.